Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Ultimate Guide to Ultimate Werewolf, but in this case, Ultimate Werewolf Extreme by Bezier Games. This game plays 5 to 75 players, takes about, about an hour to play or so, depending on the number of players, and it's for ages 14 and up. But you can play with younger, of course, no big deal. Um, and in this game, you are basically gathering a singular card from a narrator, and you are attempting to eliminate the foes. This is a group party game. Most of you guys know what Werewolf is, I've made quite a few videos on it, and in this video specifically, I'm just going to be talking about all of the different cards that you'll be getting in the Ultimate Werewolf Pro Set, Ultimate Werewolf Extreme, and the Ultimate Werewolf Extreme Bonus Rolls. These three new retail editions are currently available in stores where you can pick them up, and they come with cards, score sheets, additional rule books, and of course a bunch of these little uh, useful tools like the hammer, the gavel, or uh, the sandwich, or of course you're going to have the citadel, things that you can use throughout the game. And uh, they're also going to have the cards. Now, just like the other Ultimate Werewolf, this one has the similar style to it, but it's going to have some unique differences. You're going to have the fence, which is basically going to tell you the length of game that is going to be taking place with this card in it. It's going to give you a number simulating what the value is for what side it's on, and uh, you're trying to balance red and blue. Um, you're going to have different uh, symbols attached to this little fence post as well, and there will also be a cap on it. Sometimes you'll see spider webs, which should be for just specifically more fun games and not for extremes um, and then of course there's basically other little details that will change the card to kind of help you understand what the card does what team it's on and the value of it depending on the different teams which is just a little bit more than the other ultimate werewolf goes into this is the original ultimate werewolf which I have a bunch of the cards for in expansions and with this three basically comes with all of those and some additional roles and including these guys down here I have summoned the help of Kelly to assist me as we discuss all the cards in the game and if we miss something or don't clarify it, you can let us know down below in the comments. Hopefully though you'll enjoy getting an idea of all the different classes and what they do for the most part and of course we look forward to seeing you in the next Ultimate Werewolf Extreme Ultra Ultimate Edition video. I mean I'm, I'm sure they're going to make it. That all being said, I have Callie here with me and we're going to talk about all the cards individually but we're going to go quick because there are a ton of and I mean a ton of cards. So many cards. <laughs> and I'm going to explain what I explained to you about the different types of cards and how they function. Now, as you can see, there are the different types. you got the normal werewolves and the humans. You've also got the neutral cards. You have the cards that switch and change. You have cards that have a white um, yeah. coloration so to the text. Yeah, they're showing both the blue and the red to show it could be either one. But you also have the white text here. Yeah. And the white text means that it's a unique card that you have to look at the rules because it provides more information in the rules than what is on the card itself. You're also going to have blank cards for choosing using your own or making your own characters. You have the moons on the fences that kind of explain at what time of the night they will be active. You're going to also have the size of the fence indicating how long the game will be based on the cards that you're adding to the game. So a lot of small fences, small game. Yep. And of course the numbers which indicate how you can balance the game between the different factions. You're also going to have the different symbols on the cards, whether they be uh, circles with a cross through them, meaning there's some type of support that doesn't use individual cards. You're going to have these shields, meaning that they are a shield class and they'll help you, but you can only have one if you have a seer in play. And then you're going to have the basic types of characters that don't have a knight phase. They have an active type of phase. And that goes and rings true for all the different characters. There's also special cards for the werewolves that include not only just the different uh, people that help them, but also different types of werewolves as well. And like I was explaining before, there are the different types of usable active tokens, or I guess these like large cardboard uh, pieces that you'll give yeah, to players. Yeah, I, I call it a token. Yeah. So let's go through them pretty quickly. Uh, the exposer lets you wake up every night once a game and you can target a player and the next day that player's role is exposed. Once very a game, powerful. it's very powerful, very yeah. usable, but of course it only it has once. <laughs> it's four times more powerful than a human being. Really, really great card. The mentalist, each night learn if any two players are on the same team. Very useful. And every night, so I can choose as Callie and as John on the same team, and if they are, I will know they're either villagers or they're werewolves, which is very powerful. If you know the identity of one, you can figure out the identity of the other. Magician. Each night you may use a different special ability. Well, wow, that's really powerful. There's a lot that goes into some of the cool cards in here, and this wouldn't be one of those cards you read in the rule book. Uh, Mystic Seer. Each night learn a player's exact role. Even powerful, more powerful More powerful seal. than the regular Seer card. <laughs> Don't use any special protective rolls if you're using this character. This character can end games quickly and has very small fence. 
of the Arasir. Each night you can learn if a player has a role other than the plain villager or plain werewolf. So you get to kind of um, in, in, uh, what a type little of role. more information. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty useful. Um, each night learn if at least one of your neighbors l took a, l a night action. That's the insomniac. Mm. So I can be like, did Callie take a night action? And then the narrator will be like, yes, she did, or no, she didn't. And I can know. We don't know if they're a plain character. Else. Well, I'll know that it's either a plain character or a special character, uh -huh, which is really nice. Uh -huh. uh, the Cupid character. This character is great for cutting games short, putting people in uh, roles or positions they might not want to be in, and changing the way the game flows. Yeah, we love using that one. Yeah, it's <laughs> very good, game. especially even for like ten player games. It works pretty well. Mm -hmm. Apprentice exposure. One night per game, you can choose a player to expose. The next day, that player's role is exposed, unless they are a wolf. That's pretty and useful as well. And you'll know, too, they're, they're a wolf. <laughs> Oracle. One night per game, learn a player's exact role. Once per game, you get to know exactly what that player is. It's kind of like a mason, but only you get the information. Soothsayer. During the first night, learn if any two players are on the same team. How about, it's basically another card. It's similar. Yeah. Uh, if you're eliminated, the following day is the day of lost innocence. And no elimination. Oh, eliminations occur until a werewolf is eliminated. So people will keep going up until they oh. find a werewolf. Negative six villager. It's dangerous. And if a wolf gets her, That's, we're really in trouble. Yep. Mm, Gladys, each night after a player is eliminated, learn if a, a neighbor is eliminated, learn if a, at least one of your new neighbors has taken a night action. A small benefit, of course. And those are all the special actions that don't utilize the neutral characters in the game. Whereas you have these guys, the protectors, like Leprechaun. Each night you can change the wolf's target to an adjacent player. A martyr, once again, you can choose to be eliminating another player who is eliminated during the day. So you can choose, as opposed to person who is eliminated during the day, I can choose to eliminate either uh, myself or another player. If a seer is eliminated, you may become the seer waking up every night. If a player is a learning if each player is a wolf or not. It's Back up Sierra, I like that. Yes. <laughs> the priest, once a night you can choose a player to be blessed. That player will stay um, in the game after the first attempt to eliminate them. Wow. That's once per game, one bonus special protection. Mm -hmm. Which is great when you have a seer, which is why you don't have multiple protective classes with a seer. Yeah. The witch, once a game you get a kill potion and a life potion. It's a standard roll card, one of my favorite cards in the mm -hmm. game, one of the most powerful cards in the game, and paired with other players becomes unstoppable. The warlock. Once per game, you can prevent a player's elimination during the night and instead target a different player. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a hunter, but it's like a protective hunter. Useful yep. card. It's almost as good as a witch, but not really. It's no, it's not as good as a witch, but it's still useful. Yeah. It can be used strategically. The bodyguard. Each night, choose a player who cannot be eliminated that night. And in some bodyguard cases, you can actually make it so I can protect this player and I'll and die in their like stead. Like a martyr. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. We're starting <laughs> through all these guys here. The ghost, during each night, if a player is eliminated, every day afterwards you can communicate by using a singular letter. You have the robber, during the first night, steal a card from another player and become their role. So you can basically switch cards with another player. The wise old man, the first night, learn who all the special villagers are. You're eliminated on the second day. And if you're targeted by wolves, the seer gets an extra view so they can see two people. Character dies quickly. It's a play elimination card. I'm not a big fan of it. Yeah, and I don't like all the ones where it's a forced elimination. Yeah, the yeah. The yeah. ghost is also kind of like that. Mm -hmm. Each night, choose two players. If one is eliminated that night, so is the other necromancer. So if you <laughs> kill like Callie, you'll cupid. also... Exactly. <laughs> I like that card. Masons. Masons target other... Know what other masons are. They're all on the good guys team. They're, they're powerful. They're like... Yeah. They're, little, they're, they're double they're, power of They're villager. human conglomerate yeah villager conglomerate kind of troublemaker <laughs> once a game stir up trouble cause two votes during a day phase always fun the gemini's work similar as cupids during the night the first night each player learns who the gemini's are so we can be gemini's but if one dies so does the other but it's a random pairing rather than a chosen pairing mason mason revealer each night you may choose to a player if that player is a wolf they're eliminated if they aren't you are eliminated you could try Scary. to you could try to push your luck, or if you really really know, like you can eliminate a wolf, hunter. but it's at the same cost of your own life. Mm -hmm. The count during the first night, learn how many wolves are on each side of you. So Ooh. I'll learn who these guys are. If she passes away, then it'll be one of these two. Uh, then you have like the paranormal investigator. One one night per game, choose a player to learn that player um, or one of their neighbors is a wolf. That's nice. That's pretty useful. Is she a wolf? No. Is one of her neighbors? Yes. Okay, cool. Now I have a little bit more information. How about a mortician? Each night you may eliminate a player until you eliminate a wolf. Oof. That's rough. I probably wouldn't use yeah. this guy unless it was a very large game. But really cool. Uh, obviously the seer, the seer, the seer. Multiple seers. <laughs> the reactive seer. One each night after a player on the village team is eliminated during the day, you may try to find a wolf. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's kind of like... 
it, it reacts based on players being eliminated as opposed to just having it every turn. So it's yep. a smaller seer. Yep. A one-eyed seer. Each night, learn if a player is a wolf or not. If you find a wolf, they must eliminate it. Be- you know, they must be eliminated before you can learn about any new players. Oh, put the tar- you have to target them, basically. Yeah. Empath. Each night, learn if the seer is adjacent to a wolf. So you can kind of have an idea of like who is a wolf based on where the seer is located. It gives you quite a bit of information, even though it's not super and powerful. And low value, so you can, yeah, you can have other abilities there. Virginia too. Wolf. During the first night, choose a player to be afraid of you for a number of days equal to the number of werewolves. And if you're eliminated, that player is also eliminated. So Callie's afraid of me. I think she's a wolf. If she, if I elim- if somebody eliminates me, then she's going to go as well. So she kind of has to be forced to my team, but she doesn't know she's on my team. So I can use that to my advantage. <laughs> Are you sure you want to kill me? Callie, are you sure? Because you might be afraid of me. (laughs) The Spellcaster. Oh, one of my favorite cards. It makes people be quiet. It doesn't do a whole lot. It's basically a normal villager, but it has some fun in the process, and you feel like you're doing something every night. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of crowd control for the sum of the game, preventing people from being too outspoken. And there's always people (laughs) that are overly outspoken. Uh Uh-huh. The thing, each night you can tap a neighbor. Pretty cool. Basically, a little more powerful of a villager. It lets people know that you are a villager, but yep. only the people that are next to you. Mm-hmm. And people can lie. Oh, she touched me. I never touched you. Well, you're a villager, aren't you? Oh, well, yeah, I am. I did touch you. And you can <laughs> kind of like manipulate people yeah. in that way. Huntress, you may eliminate any player during the night once a game. Basically, a one shot hunter before you get eliminated. Mm-hmm. The old woman, each night, choose a player to leave the village during the next day. Basically, kicks people out of the house. Oh, it's yeah. a lot of fun. I enjoy that one as well. Then they don't get information, which is so crucial. In but this you game. protect them, <laughs> which is also nice. Uh, the mummy, each night, choose a new player to be hypnotized. That player must vote the way you want them to. Oh. So you choose a player, and, and then, then like they're forced. Like you get two votes, you steal the rope. Basically. Exactly, exactly. Um, Sheepdog, if time runs out before a vote takes place during the day, you must vote for elimination. (laughs) Whenever a special character is eliminated, you get their powers, Frankenstein, and you have a max of two powers. The Elusive Seer, the first night, learn who all the plain villagers are. So I would point to all the plain villagers. That's a huge, huge power. Yeah, you have a good... Especially if you have a lot of Mm plain villagers, which in most cases, especially what recommended in the rulebook says, you will. The mayor vote counts twice, and I'm guessing this is a revealed class. Mm -hmm. So you can reveal yourself, but as the mayor, you're likely to be targeted very quickly. Yep. (laughs) The old man. You'll be eliminated one, no, uh uh-oh, sorry, you'll be eliminated on the night of the current werewolves plus one. So if you get four werewolves, you just instantly pass away. It's a zero card. So it kind of lets you include... (laughs) And instead of playing regular villager, you can give a second, like a, a, a two cost villager. You give in there. it to someone who needs to go check up on the food or the grill. I, I suppose. I never use the card, not my favorite. <laughs> Professor Impatience. If you are limited players, eliminate two players each day, and wolves eliminate two players each night for the rest of the game. So basically, if you're out, double the time. game speeds up. <laughs> like that, especially for a larger game. Beholder, during the first night, learn who the seer is. Useful information, and you can protect them, which is nice. The disease, if you're eliminated by wolves, they don't get to eliminate during the next phase of the night. So you can kind of protect your players. It's nice. <laughs> it doesn't help me. you, but I guess you can kind of like manipulate the wolves. Yeah, if you bite me, you yeah. might be sad. Uh-huh. The hunter, if you're eliminated, you may eliminate another player. An it's excellent card. Yep. It's always a card I include in the game because it doesn't help or hurt any side. And it pushes the game faster. And there's many, many, many hunters. <laughs> Lichens, you're on the villager team, but to the seer, you appear as a wolf. Mm, it's not great. But it is fun. Well, it's not a lot of points, right? Negative yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, that's why. A pacifist, you must always vote for uh, a vote against elimination. So you always have to go, no, don't kill them, or no, don't kill them, whatever <laughs> way you're doing vote, it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The prince, if you're eliminated by a vote, your role is revealed and you stay alive. I am the prince, you may not kill me, which is a very powerful and, and useful card. And then you get card. killed the next turn. <laughs> the tough guy, if the wolves try to eliminate you, you are not eliminated until the next night. So you yeah, get to stay for one good. day and you're upset that entire day. <laughs> the village idiot, you're always voted for, you always vote for players to be eliminated. So you're always being like sorry you need to go Mm -hmm. you also need to go which makes you look bloodthirsty and can be targeted then the assassin once a day you may look uh one of your neighbors in the eye and eliminate them no (laughs) that's pretty funny the cutthroat once per game you may look one of your neighbors in the eye and eliminate them wow very similar yeah once per day you may look per day or per game oh different and then the numbers are different for how powerful they are Oh, no, no, they're the same. Oh, they're the same. It's okay. just once per day, this guy, you'll know who they are, and this yeah. guy can be at night or during the day. Oh, okay. 
Hunter, another hunter, magistrate, you may reverse a vote once per game. You want him dead? He's alive. You want him alive? No, he's dead. A veto. The mad destroyer is allowed to eliminate players to his left or right if he is destroyed based on the number of wolves minus one. Two wolves left in the game, I die, she's gonna die, or he's gonna die next to me. Tough girl, if wolves attempt to eliminate you, you're not eliminated till the following night. But she's more powerful than the tough guy because if a day begins with only you and a wolf in the game, you win. Oh, you can win a tie, wow. Villagers win on a tie if a tough girl is the last yeah. one alive. And then we got a couple other, other guys <laughs> here. Uh, we got the Eye of the Seer, which is the only eye card that I've seen so far. If you're eliminated, the seer sees all players as villagers. You have to have a seer in the game in order for this to work though. Yeah. Uh, infected. If you aren't eliminated before the end of the game, the village team loses. If you are eliminated by wolves, they may not eliminate during the next night. So it's a double-edged sword. Ooh. It can help or it can hurt. You need this person to die if they're on your team. And if you're a wolf, you want them to survive. The influencer. Once you, you, while you remain in the game, there is one extra vote for elimination. If you're eliminated, there is one extra vote against elimination. So the change of tide with mm -hmm. the influencer being in or out. The outcast. If you're eliminated, the village team cannot use any special abilities during the next night. Okay. And if you're eliminated as the uh, Eye of the Seer, it's once... Oh, okay, we, so we, we, have, yeah, yeah, yeah. we have all those guys. And those are all the village classes uh -huh. that we Holy have blues. currently <laughs> for the three here. We have the bonus rolls, we have the basic werewolf, ultimate werewolf, uh, extreme, and then we have the pro version over there. Um, let's go ahead and talk about these guys here so that gives you a ton of extra villagers and you guys know how these works a ton of extra werewolves a ton of extra vampires um obviously the more you add in a game uh the, the less these, the more of these you need <laughs> the, yeah you always want to have werewolves you want to have villagers more villagers than special roles in most cases even though it might sound like a lot of fun you need yeah. people to hide and be able to lie and it's easier to have that in the game with uh villagers mm -hmm. it's very often where a lot even of though my... it's tempting to put in all the special characters and give everyone that sense of specialness that's where the tokens can help too right and it's we tokens probably making the villagers feel more special you can make somebody become the mayor yeah. basically they are the one that decides whether the person lives or dies so there'll be a, a first tie, and a yeah. second on a player mm -hmm. and then not a tie oh a, oh in general yeah, yeah yeah on a first and then on a second this person will then say their case and the mayor if there's a majority that wants this person to talk the mayor will then have the final vote as to whether they survive or not uh they have this sandwich here so if somebody gets eliminated by a wolf they'll take this they'll give it to somebody else and that player will survive for one nomming mm -hmm. if a werewolf is eliminated the werewolf can take the charm and give it to a player and that protects them from a daytime vote now they can give it to a werewolf or a villager can you guess who they give it to <laughs> and then this one over here the tower the most powerful card in the game because if you're eliminated the first night on the first game no matter what you are we can give you the tower so the next game you don't lose on the first night it's a way of preventing players from basically not playing the game for various reasons the moderator card is special. It's used for advanced gameplay, advanced game modes. When you have enough experienced moderator players, you can go ahead and divvy out cards and have somebody choose to be the moderator at random. I never suggest using that card. Always play with experienced moderators in the game or you're not going to have a fun game. Okay. These are all the individual characters now. A lot of individual characters. On their own team. They are, and you cannot <laughs> use the characters with the O's that have a, a, a circle with a slash through them with these characters in the game for various reasons. Like the spoiler, if you have not been eliminated by the end of the game, you're the one who ends up winning. Or you're the only one. Only, yeah, mm -hmm. you're like, hey, too bad, I win. Zombie, each night choose a player and eat their brains. That player may no longer vote. If all players have no brains, eh, you win. So it's kind of like the blob. It Another way people. to infect everyone. <laughs> the cult leader, each night you'll choose mm -hmm. a number of werewolves minus one players to join your cult. If all remaining players are in your cult, you win. So yeah. if there's two werewolves, uh, your cult leader, you're going to have only one cult member each night that you m will make as your uh, cult fan base, basically. Yeah, yeah. you'll grow and your cult. all players are cults by the end of the game, or at the, at the end of, uh, if all players remaining are remaining. So yeah. as soon as you get all players as cults, you win. <laughs> the hoodlum, during the first night, choose as many players as there are wolves. You win if those players are eliminated before you are. That's interesting. <laughs> Chupacabra, each night choose a player. If that player is a wolf, they're eliminated. If all wolves are, eliminating, are eliminated, eliminate any player. Okay, so basically a powerful character that all automatically just attacks. Uh, you hate your job and you hate your life. You win if you're if only you are eliminated. So the, the tanner, tanner, my yeah. least favorite. I we never would put this card in, in the game. <laughs> 
People get it's it's, it's too complicated, and players don't confused. understand if you just keep playing the game or you don't play the game. So uh, there's too many different vari variations for the card. I'm sure somebody in the comments will correct me as to how it works, but there's from what I've seen, there's too many different variations, and I didn't like any of them. Aracabra, which is unlike the Chupacabra, because each night you choose the number of werewolves minus one players. Any chosen players with special abilities will be eliminated. So if, so you're, choosing, if you're choosing basic werewolves, so you're choosing basic humans, it does nothing. Mm -hmm. Even if you're choosing two or even three players, it does but nothing. But if you hit special characters, characters you're numbing them all And that up. can hurt. <laughs> yep. Yep. And I guess they're on their own team, so they only win if they're all by themselves at the end of the mm -hmm. game. So you don't want to be left with two humans at the end of the game. No. It's going to be challenging. Or just werewolves, either. Yep. <laughs> uh, the Master Tanner. You must live werewolves plus one days to become a master. Then realizing you hate your job in your life, you must be eliminated. So you have to survive a certain amount of time, and yeah. then you have to die. That's this a one's probably better. a little better. Yeah. I wouldn't use it, though. <laughs> Matchmaker. Each night, choose number of werewolf players to become matched for the following day and night. If one match is eliminated the next day or night, so are the others. Like a limited Cupid. Yeah. Based a, on the number of werewolves. Okay. She's kind of helpful and kind of not yeah. helpful. Yeah. <laughs> Nosferatu. Each night choose a number of werewolves. A number of werewolf minus one players. Those players eliminated when a player gets their second nomination the next day. So you basically pit certain people for death. Mm -hmm. Not a favorite of mine. The Savant. During the first night, learn the roles of all players. You may eliminate a werewolf minus two plain villagers every night. Win by remaining in the game until it ends or there are three players left. Mm. Pretty useful, but also <laughs> kind of evil a little bit. I mean, it, it allows you to win earlier in the game and people aren't expecting it. This would be a cool secret role to have in a game, I suppose. It's mm -hmm. only a minus three as well. The thing is, you can only really choose one of these, maybe, I'd say. Uh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't throw in more than two unless you're not playing with werewolves. You can choose not oh, play with werewolves. Yeah, I yeah. could. Okay. Or you can play with a, a vampire. Vampires. And yeah, any combination really works for this game as long as it feels balanced and your playgroup enjoys it. Avoid playing games that didn't work out with certain roles and classes mm -hmm. with your specific groups. The Vanilla Cabra. Each night target werewolf minus one players. Any chosen players without special abilities are eliminated. Very similar to the other Cabras. <laughs> yep. The Blob. During the first night, choose oh, yeah. left or right. Each night, absorb werewolf minus one players in that direction. And you win if all remaining players are part of the Blob. Similar the to the Brain takes Eater. Over. It's similar very to similar to the zombie yeah. one, yeah. Mm -hmm. The Boogeyman. Each night, if the wolves don't and agree cult. on a target quickly, you choose a target you win only if all night active roles are eliminated. So at night, if the wolves aren't quick enough, maybe you set a timer for the game, then the Boogeyman will get a chance to pop mm -hmm. up and you can win, but only if all night active roles are gone. So if there's nobody left during the night activated, then you just win, which is kind of an interesting twist, but for more advanced narrators, I think. Yeah. Count Dracula. Each night, choose a player to be a bride. If you make it through a day and night with three brides remaining in the game, you win. <laughs> so after the third night... It's another night, one where you're trying to take over people and protect them, but yeah. you don't have to get everybody. And you have, you have to keep your brides alive, alive. which yeah. is kind of a fun idea. Uh -huh. I would include this with a werewolf, I think. Yeah. Father Time. You win only if time runs out three times during a game. So you're pushing, you're trying to pushing like, the clock. oh, yeah. are you sure we want to do that? Let's talk about this a little uh -huh. more. Let's not vote anyone tonight. Illuminati, <laughs> during the first night, learn the roles of all players. Win by remaining in the game until there are only three players left. This one's okay. Uh, you get a lot of information and then your objective is literally to just stay right. alive. Yeah. The Red Wolf. Each night, along with the Red Wolves, choose a player to eliminate. Um, but yeah, and all the Red Wolves are the same. And the Lone Wolves are the same as the Red Wolves, except for the fact um, that they wake up own. They yeah. wake up with all the other wolves, but they want to kill all the other wolves and remain mm -hmm. on their own. So a cool kind game. of different wolf factions, then. A cool <laughs> game might be two Lone two Wolves. Lone. I would give this. I would give this to Josh and Zach and put them together as a wolf team, uh -huh. but they have to betray each other, and they'll just end up losing just because of their own greed. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was going to also say about the um, other thing about the uh, Father Time with time runs out. It's, it's not only just time running out, but also you pushing the timer along okay. or forcing players to work uh, like, oh, let's, let's be more passive and whatnot, which is kind of a cool twist to a lot of the new characters I've seen throughout the game. Okay, let's talk about the different types of werewolves Bad now guys. before we get into the uh, specific unique classes that work with... Um, Either team. Well, it's, it's, these yeah. are like the werewolf sides, right? Uh -huh. And then you have the people oh, who work with guys. the werewolves, and then yeah. we're going to go through the rest of them, which are... So I'm going to move these guys up here, which are going to be like the people that, that morph and change throughout the game. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of werewolves, too. A ton of werewolves, and... 
Play with less of these than werewolves because most of these are very, very powerful. The Alpha Wolf, basically each night, along with other wolves, you choose a player to eliminate once per game uh, during the night after a wolf is eliminated. During the day, you can turn a player of your choosing into a wolf, basically instead of eliminating them. So I'm the last wolf remaining. My wolf friend just died. Instead of eating Kelly, I tap her. Now she's a wolf with me. It's a negative 12. One of the best cool. werewolves so in the powerful. game. Yeah. Cool. Could be cool. The werewolves. They could be cool too to add this with a lone wolf too. Mm, and then he's trying to eliminate all the wolves. <laughs> uh, a big bad wolf. The big bad wolf is each night along with the wolves, choose a player to eliminate. While you remain in the game, the wolves may eliminate two adjacent players. Ooh. Really powerful. Minus yeah. nine. Yeah. Uh, the dream wolf. You don't wake up with the wolves until a wolf is eliminated or until wolves try to eliminate you. So if they try to kill kind you, wolf. instead yeah. of dying, you're like, hey guys, you can't kill me. I'm an actual <laughs> wolf with you. I'm sorry I was sleepy. Or so they won't know till the next night, which is interesting. Yeah, it's true. Um, and then we have the exploding wolf. Each night along with the wolves, choose a player to eliminate. If you are eliminated, the player to, players to your immediate left and right are also eliminated. <laughs> this is a quick game, like speedy up thing. Mm -hmm. A lot of the cards also have cobwebs on them. Those cobwebs are not for players who are professionals because these change the value the valuation of the game it changes the, the the skew this pushes it very high into the favor of the bad guys regardless of how many points so if you're playing a professional game you're going to want to stay away from cards with cobwebs on them and i think probably the alpha wolf is or the the yeah the alpha wolf is going to have cobwebs it does yes obviously fang face during the first night wake up with the wolves while there are other wolves in the game do not wake with them on subsequent nights Ooh, okay. And it's then an you interesting hide, twist. Kinda. Okay. Yeah, you're kind of like a hiding werewolf. Like, you were, hey, and then <laughs> you wake at first, and then you don't wake with them until all of them are gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they know you're on your team, the team, but you're also kind of you're not participating until you have to. Yeah. <laughs> the fruit brute. This is another one of those non-participating werewolves. Each night, along with the wolves, choose a player to eliminate. If you're the last wolf in the game, you do not get to eliminate a player at night. Because you're not actually eating them. You're more interested in fruit. You're just kind of going along. But with you are a wolf. wolf. <laughs> that would be a really challenging. One. Oh, yeah. Like, how do you win? You have to win through the vote during yep. the day. Yep. Wow. I don't know who's a wolf. I'm, there's no one <laughs> dying at night. Furry. A furry? A furry. Each night, along with the wolves, choose a player to eliminate. During the day, if time runs out, before a vote takes place, you must vote against elimination. Like a more friendly wolf. You're like a fake wolf. You're not really a wolf, but you're dressed like one and you want to work with them in some ways. The hunter wolf. Oh, this one is nasty. Minus 11. Each night along with the wolves, choose a player to eliminate. If you're eliminated, you may eliminate any other player. <laughs> wow. So you're a wolf and also if yeah, you get... Yeah, my hunter ability. Yeah. So if you are eliminated during the day, you're like, you got me, I'm a wolf. But also, you're dead, seer. Uh -huh. Another hunter wolf. There's two hunter wolves in here you can use. A prairie wolf. Each night along with the wolves, choose a player to eliminate. During the first night, choose a player and learn if that player is the seer or not. Someone to find the seer. Yep. Sniff him out. So you get kind of a bonus small ability. Mm -hmm. You're like, you got a third eye as a wolf and you can pick somebody out and like, okay, wolves, we need to go for this person. I know they're a seer. Yep. A teenage werewolf. Each <laughs> night along with the wolves, choose a player to eliminate. You must say wolf or werewolf at least once a day or you're eliminated. So you're giving out clues and hints. The wolverine. Each night along with the wolves, choose a player to eliminate. If you are the closest wolf to the target, the players hear a metallic sound. So you and the narrow actually yeah. say, I hear a metallic sound. Mm -hmm. Each night along with the wolves, choose a player to eliminate. These are, this is a basic werewolf. He got oh, stuck in the deck. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Well, you know how they work now. And the vampire. <laughs> Assassin wolf. Each night along with the wolves, choose a player to eliminate. If you are eliminated, you may eliminate a neighbor. Basically, a less useful hunter werewolf. Less choice, yeah. Kamikaze wolf at negative 10. Each night along with the wolves, choose a player to eliminate. If the seer views you while any other wolves are in the game, both you and the seer are eliminated. So you are a self-destructing bomb when the seer, the seer hits you. <laughs> Mama Wolf, each night along with the wolves, choose a player to eliminate. The first night, choose uh, choose a player to be a lichen. A lichen is a character that is a human, but is seen as a werewolf in every other circumstance other than winning the game um, and staying on the human's team. Uh, Mountain Wolf, each night along with the wolves, choose a player to eliminate. During the first night, choose werewolves minus one players and learn if the seer is one of them. That's a very powerful, negative yeah. 10. Basically mm -hmm. another seer seeker yep. werewolf. 
that works along with the werewolves. It's really, really powerful. Anything that finds the seer is powerful the, because the seer, the seer is the best so in the powerful. game. The seer yeah. is the card that is the most <laughs> important in the game, and so a lot of these guys try and deal with that. A mystery wolf. Each night along with the wolves, choose a player to eliminate. Choose a player to be a lichen on both the second and third nights. This thing starts pushing players to become part of the team, even though they're not making the seer the seer think. is not going to be able to know that they're on the wolf's team. It's a negative 12. Yeah. So okay. it, it gives you two fake werewolves in the game. It's really cool. I think mm -hmm. we'll add that to our next game. Mystic wolf. Uh, negative 12. Each night along with the wolves, choose a player to eliminate. Each night you wake again and learn the exact role of one player. Each night, along with the wolves, you attack somebody, yeah. and each night you wake up again and learn the exact role of a player. You are a negative Ooh. 12. You yeah, are a seer. <laughs> You're a seer. Seeker. <laughs> that, no, it's, you it's can learn seer. the exact it's, role of yeah. whoever you pick. You can seek, any, seek out anything. <laughs> and you can be like, oh, that we don't want to kill that person. That person's not going to let us. That's the curse person. That's the lichen. We need to get that person. Wow. That's probably the scariest wolf in the game. It's literally a seer, but stronger, and it's also with so a werewolf. so much information, yep. Let's see, though. Here's an oracle wolf, another negative 12. <laughs> each night along with the wolves, choose a player to eliminate, of course. And each night after a wolf is eliminated, you wake up again and learn the exact role of one player. Very similar. It's, the sa it's similar, but only when wolves die. Mm -hmm. So it's not nearly as scary. But they're both negative 12s. This one's... Less. Yeah. This one's way scarier. This one should be higher number, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. Outsider wolf. Do not wake with the other wolves. Wake separately and choose a player to eliminate. Mm -hmm. So. Everyone it's will double. It's, yeah. it's two people dying. Yeah. People ooh, need to get rid of this. Ooh, but also yeah. the wolves may actually target this guy. Yeah, I'd be like, what are you doing? <laughs> well, no, they don't. You don't wake with other wolves. And oh, so they after, don't know. So wolves will yeah, attack, yeah. and then the outsider wolf will attack afterwards. Okay, it's not like but lone wolf. They might kill. Win on their own. No, they have. He has to. He he can win with werewolves. Yeah. But he also can get eaten by werewolves. Uh huh. Uh huh. Because they won't know who he is. Yep. The pet wolf. Each night, along with the wolves, choose a player to eliminate. The first night, choose a player to be your owner. If you are eliminated before they are, they recognize you and are eliminated as well. Oh, <laughs> that's it's a negative three. Oh, so you still eat people. And the first night you choose a player. So Callie, you're my owner. And if yep. you're eliminated before they are, they recognize you and are eliminated as well. Are you choose a human, probably. And you have to select this, I think, before the werewolves attack too. Oh, you can even yeah. see. Let me see. You can look at the werewolves when they attack. It is before they attack. So you might choose a, a werewolf to be your partner that owns you and then when you die both you and another werewolf die uh -huh, uh -huh. so that's why it's not a very powerful that's well, why it's only minus be... three okay the sorcerer wolf wake separately and search for the seer until the first wolf is eliminated so you basically have the ability to be a seer seeker until a wolf dies each night along with the wolves choose a player to eliminate as the starving wolf if the village does not eliminate anyone that day you may eliminate a neighbor of the wolves target <laughs> just another very like, powerful hey like... we didn't vote anyone off today to, yeah, so gotta, the wolves gotta take their due. <laughs> the dire wolf. This is a negative four wolf, actually. Each night along with the wolves, choose a player to eliminate. During the first night, choose a player to be your companion. You're eliminated if that player is eliminated. Mm, Somewhat similar. Similar to, to the, the, the pet wolf, yeah. yeah. The wolf man. Each night along with the wolves, choose a player to eliminate. And the seer views you as a villager. Minus nine. So basically, you're a little bit of a protected wolf. <laughs> it's good. Better Getting than a regular werewolf. Man. The wolf cub. Oh, yeah. He's super cute. Super cute. <laughs> Negative eight, which means they're stronger than a regular werewolf. Each night along with the wolves, choose a player to eliminate. If you're eliminated, the wolves eliminate two players the following night. Oh, because like, the baby went. Yeah, like, oh, you killed the baby. <laughs> so those are all the werewolves in the game. Those are basically what you would play instead of a regular werewolf. You'd mm -hmm. play a special werewolf. And then you have allies of the wolves. People that are going to work with the wolves here. Like, Ooh, for instance, so the evil empath. Each night learn if the seer is adjacent to a wolf. Each night learn who the seer viewed as the spy. Each night learn if a player is the seer or not as a sorceress. A lot of seer seekers in here. Yeah. Count Lycanthrope. The first night learn how many wolves are on each side of the village and which side has the seer. Okay. A lot of seekers, a lot of learners. Each night learn if the seer found a wolf or if the seer has been eliminated. That's the den mother. So you can kind of gain some information as to what the seer knows. Each night, learn one new wolf devotee. So you get to learn an, about a new wolf every night, and you're working with them, and you have to try and convince them. That you're on their side. And I think there's two ways to play with these guys. They can either, you can either tell them 
based on who's playing who the wolves are, or they are, are completely in the dark. Mm-hmm. And the wolves do not know uh, who they are. Yeah. They, or, or the wolves know who they are, they don't know who the wolves are. You can kind of choose that yes. level of information based on what role you, you add to The mummer. Each night choose a player to be hypnotized. That player must vote the way you do. Illuminist. Uh, illusionist. The seer sees you. Their subsequent views will be opposite. So this one's really cool. If yeah, the seer, brutal. if she's the illusionist and the seer sees her the rest of the time, she, so they'll be like, okay, she's not a werewolf. And for the rest of the game, the seer is going to see werewolf, 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 where there are no werewolves. <gasps> The revealer, each night you may target a player. If that player is a special villager, they're eliminated. And if they're not, you're eliminated. So it's kind of the it's kind of a risky one for the other side. Now, Apprentice Illusionist, if the seer sees you, their next view will be the opposite. So just one next view, not all Mm -hmm. of them. The minion, during the first night, learn who the wolves are. The cloak. Any wolves or lichens next to you appear as villagers to the seer. So you kind of (laughs) hiding your neighbors. And then you have the illusion artist. Each night, choose a player. The seer will view that player as the opposite that night. So you can pick a player if the seer yeah. views them. So that this one's is like very the, the very the softest of the bunch. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we're getting into uh, the <laughs> next there. ones. Yes, these are the ones that are basically going to turn or change the game, or they change them and change the, your side or role. Yeah. Yes. The investigator, the first night, choose three adjacent players. If at least one is a wolf, you are on the village team. Otherwise, you are on the wolf team. So if you you pick three, and based on what those three are, we'll determine which way you go. Mm -hmm. The reanimator, start on the wolf team, but you are not a wolf and you don't wake together. Once during the game, you may change to the village team and save a player who was just eliminated by eliminating yourself. So you can be a martyr or you can work with the wolves Mm -hmm. Based on the yeah. tides of the battle. <laughs> the copycat. During the first night, choose a player. If that player is eliminated during the day, you become their role. If the player is eliminated during the night, you're eliminated. So you you want to be them so badly <laughs> that if they go away during the day, you become them. But if they're eliminated at night, eh, you sadly leave with them <laughs> yourself. Blind Mary. You, may, you, may, you have no team until you're eliminated. Then you are on the team that did not eliminate you. After your elimination, eliminate one player each night. So it's a revenge character. Yeah. It's a very threatening role as well. And it's only a one because you don't know which way it's going to go. Mm-hmm. The black cat. If you're eliminated, eliminate a player from the team who eliminated you. You win with the other team. So <laughs> it's a character that's going to work with whoever works with them. It's kind of a nice role for newer players too, yeah. I think. Uh, the time bandit. <laughs> this one's a cool one. If you're eliminated during the day, each day lasts one minute. If you're eliminated at night, wolves have only five seconds to choose a target. <sighs> Like, better hey, be quick better if you kill the time know. bandit. <laughs> uh, Nostradamus. Uh, during the first night, predict which team will win. Uh, you win only if you predict it accurately. Doesn't really matter what team. Doesn't matter if you die. It only matters that you were correct yeah, you and engaging. You just engaging. choose a side. You don't get to really directly interact with any abilities. The flipper. She's got a cow too. During the first night, choose which team to join. If you have not been eliminated when one team is about to lose, you will join that team. So... No, I'm joining you just before. <laughs> Bloody Mary. Oh, this one's a nasty one. If you're eliminated each night, keep your eye, eyes open and eliminate a player on the team that eliminated you. Then you are on the team that did not eliminate you. Another little bit of revenge. Yes. Two both Marys are not great. <laughs> Spawn. Not great as in not great to have against you. Yeah. If you have not been eliminated when all the other wolves have been eliminated, you become a wolf. Lichens do not need to be eliminated for the spawn to become a wolf. It's basically uh, maybe a wolf mm-hmm. if mm-hmm. all else fails. The Cursed. This one I love. One yeah. of my favorite roles to add in a basic beginner game. When uh, you are on the village team, unless you are targeted by the wolves, and then you become a wolf, waking with the wolves each night. So if you get nommed on, you're a wolf. Mm-hmm. If you are hung, then you just die. And if you do not have anything happen to you, you can win the game with the humans. So you have opportunities to win. It's a nice way to play with newer players. It changes the way type of battle. It's nice to have some multiple abilities, too, where someone may not die in the night because then it kind of hides oh was it the witch is there someone who's cursed etc so those yeah. are nice to put together you want to put like a witch in one of these guys or let's yeah. a protector it's a way that kind of keeps people asking questions and like, still okay, gives it could be this or it could be this and they're kind of deducing what might have happened in the night you want to have information in this game, and you want to be able to have players decide based on that information. You don't want it all to be luck or random or chance. As long as you can give people something to talk about, that's important, and yeah. I think the curse does that. The Grave Robber. If you're eliminated, choose another player still in the game to be eliminated instead. You become their role. 
It's another one of those like newer style games. Not one of my favorites. Sasquatch. You are on the team, uh, village team, unless a day ends without someone being eliminated. Then you become a wolf. Each night, along with the wolves, choose a player to eliminate. If people don't know this exists in the game, this is basically a werewolf, especially yeah. on the first night. Yeah, but a lot if, of times we won't be eliminating the first day. But also, if players know that you're more likely to add things that add time or in, involve time, those dramas and whatnot, mm. people will start going to be a little quicker in making their decisions, I think, as well. Mm -hmm. The doppelganger. During the first night, choose a player. When that player is eliminated, you become their role. So, it's basically you're, you're, you're nothing until you are a thing. Mm -hmm. The drunk. If you're a, village, wow. you're a villager until the third night, when you sober up, you learn your real role. So basically, you are a villager, and then three halfway through the game, midway through the game somewhere, you become something different. And I as always suggest you include it as a human or a werewolf, mm -hmm. maybe a special wolf specifically. That was great for if the game is going wildly in one direction, for the moderator to step in and help adjust and balance the game. Yeah, you can you can DM it up a little bit. You can mm -hmm. roll a you can roll a, a nat twenty or a nat one if you know yes, what I mean. Want, yeah. <laughs> and then we have the blighted. The blighted is pretty cool. You are on the village team unless you are targeted by the wolves, and you become a wolf. And each night you wake alone to eliminate a player. So you wake alone to eliminate <laughs> a player. <laughs> So it's kind of an interesting, like, you are, this is a very Turning vengeful. Turning into a wolf, very but vengeful. on your own. Yep. And then the last thing, which we talked, we talked about a little bit, just our vampires. These ones say each night choose a player. That player is eliminated when a player gets their second nomination the next day. So I don't know if it's when they get the second nomination, they, be, they get eliminated, or it's just the player you choose at night. During the day phase, that player is eliminated if somebody else, after there, somebody else gets their second nomination. So, so. it's just that... Hey, if, if someone gets a second nomination, they're automatically... No, no, right? it says each night choose a player. Yeah. That player is eliminated eliminated when a player gets their second oh, nomination player, the next any day. Player. Okay. So I think if no one gets nominated on that next day phase, then the vampires do not kill somebody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But if, if somebody do, gets nominated, that... That other player targeted goes. player. Ah, My yeah. question is, if that player goes, do we still get to do a hanging? I imagine we would still do that. I've never mm -hmm. used a vampire because I highly suggest not using these unless you're playing with a ton of players. Mm -hmm. Because this is yet another class, another role there's, that kills. There's enough content that, yeah, if you never want to play with some of these things, you don't have to. <laughs> like, uh, some of our games can be some very similar structure-wise with what roles we choose. And especially if you always, we a lot of times we have new players too. Yeah, usually what I do is I keep my basic standard yeah. cards and, and then, then I add one, <laughs> one or two unique new little things into a game. Because normally I don't play with more than about 10 to about 15 players. Mm -hmm. The max I usually would play with is probably 20 to 25 until I don't feel comfortable anymore making a game. But there's enough cards to play with much larger games. Absolutely. <laughs> if you're doing this at a convention or you're doing this at some like... Some other event. Event. Yep. You can play up to 75 players. You can play with more than that in this game, honestly, with all the different rules here. Mm -hmm. All the rule books tell you the idea of how the cards are made. There is a ton of new structure to these cards as well. I love the fact that it's included a bunch of new things. Now you know where the moon is. That kind of gives you an idea of when you should shout that card out at night as a narrator it helps the number system has always been great even for ultimate werewolf it comes yeah. back in this game with a vengeance along with all the additional extra cards you get there's also little symbols that indicate shielding characters i really love that i love the fact that it has cards that show you when to not put them in the game based on what is there what is available what to combos you not to do so the symbols really help with that which is great yep and of course, the fact that uh, the rule book includes a ton of variation. There's a ton of different modes to the game, like celebration mode, for instance, is if you guys defeat a werewolf on the day phase, on the night phase that comes up, all the special characters fall asleep. So basically the entire town is sleepy during the night phase, even if they're helpful, which is great for werewolves. Had a little too much to drink. Mm. <laughs> and there are other modes in the game that kind of change that up. You have the different uh, players that tell you exactly how many of the different classes plain wolf special wolf minor wolf mm -hmm. wolf support team switcher village support so what's and recommended at different number of players basically all okay. the way up to 25 players yeah and it tells you like for 25 players it's three plain wolves it's three special wolves it's six village support and 13 regular villagers yeah, and these lot. guys always recommend a lot of villagers uh -huh. for that reason uh -huh. but you don't have to do that i've made plenty of games where i've had everybody play special roles as yeah. long as your narrator is strong enough to be able to do so and players do not mind just a mm -hmm. random crazy fun game especially maybe the last game and usually we'll play multiple rounds of this game it's the last game of the night you want to do something fun you don't care if it only takes five minutes or something then yeah <laughs> make everybody alone werewolf uh, oh gosh <laughs> 
And then, of course, it comes with your handy-dandy score pad. This came with the original Ultimate Werewolf uh, game. Uh, these are very, very useful. You write down the characters, mm -hmm. their names. My suggestion for a lot of these games is you don't know their names, write down something about them. The wolf player in the scarf that is red. Uh, the uh, seer the is yeah. the girl with the red streak in her <laughs> hair. Play, especially when you're playing at an event with a lot of players, you may not know everyone's name. Or a party that is like something where you're, you're, yeah. some new people have joined, you can't remember their names. Just include those type of things. Include in, in the order in which the things are mm -hmm. going to be done at night. And always have that first night phase, in my opinion, to tell you all the information as the narrator. Make the wolves wake up, don't have them attack, learn about all the different roles. Give the night players, the human players, a couple things to do, and then start the game off with a day phase, as opposed to just going straight to night and having the wolves kill somebody. Because even that first day period gives players an opportunity to do something before yeah. one player is completely just eliminated from the game. I always feels awful if you're the first one out and you feel like you didn't get to do anything. Literally nothing. You're <laughs> yeah, a villager, goes tonight, just, nothing happens. Yeah. But like I said, there's a ton of different ways to play and realistically, tips, yeah. you're going to find the best variation for you and your group or groups and what works best for you as a, maybe a moderator or a player in the game. Tons and tons of combinations. I do not expect them to stop making more stuff here. In my opinion, this is more than enough for the rest of my life, as far as things go. But I would never tamper down more werewolf content. It's, it's true. I'll, I'll always play with new we'll, things. We'll keep collecting it as long as you keep making it. That's true. I, yes, I, I do, in fact, love Ultimate Werewolf. And now Ultimate Werewolf Extreme, Ultimate Werewolf Extreme Pro, Ultimate Werewolf Extreme Bonus Rolls. You can pick up all these. These are all available on retail. Uh, this is the ultimate guide to the Ultimate Extreme Ultimate Werewolf Pro collection. <laughs> if you're interested in any of these things, look down below. Thank you guys so much for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. If you're interested in the game, like I said before, link down below. You can also go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button, that bell button notification will help us out greatly. Thank you so much. Patreon, one buck a month. It goes a long, long way. We do appreciate any support you'd like to give us. It helps us make new content, helps us do our live streams, helps us keep our website on, helps us keep Discord Nitro going on, and shipping for giveaways as well. Additionally, you can watch us on our live streams every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. PST, where we play games just like this one. We have played Werewolf <laughs> on stream with tons of designers and tons of people from... Um, a lot fun. of fun, yeah. yeah. Pre-pandemic, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and uh, we look forward to doing some more of this kind of stuff later in the future. I hope you guys have a great Christmas and a happy new year. We'll be putting out new videos the rest of the week here. As always, I look forward to seeing See you, you guys, guys next time. time.